This life is like a shadow play, the flickering of night and day, through which illusions in our minds are manifest and intertwined into a web that few evade, though they see through the masquerade. When I was small, I felt so certain I could peek behind the curtain, and I was sure what would appear would be some master puppeteer who pulled the strings and wrote the dance of orchestrated happenstance. The world appeared for all its noise like stage sets made of tinker toys where people played pre-scripted roles like lost and unawakened souls who hardly ever came alive, which helped the culture to survive. This haunting specter made me feel lives don't unfold, they just unreal. As numberless non-entities, identical identities are merged into a single herd, manipulated by the word, and driven by insane obsessions to sell their souls for their possessions. For all are taught to genuflect, to knowledge and to intellect, to follow the majority, to kowtow to authority, to worship youth and beauty like some consecrated duty, and to treasure monetary wealth more than the earth or life itself. And everyone I met pretended this made sense and were offended when I told them I perceived that all of them had been deceived, since everything material is essentially ethereal, which means one needs to pay attention to the source of this dimension. I suggested every action that we take for satisfaction might be merely metaphorical for current and historical desires of the human being to unify with the unseen creative force that animates, that elevates, and fascinates the human mind, enabling us to leave behind the torment of our daily cares. When such a source is reached with prayers, it's always transformational, quite healing and sensational. Yet often people want that splendor, but aren't willing to surrender egocentric motivation for divine illumination. Since no one seemed to get my point, I'd sit alone and smoke a joint and simply let my mind unhinge while speculating from the fringe about a novel paradigm that blends the human and sublime. Trapped in this world, I thought that I might scrape my head against the sky if I allowed myself to be what Spirit had in mind for me. Of course, when I was very young, I had no idea what Spirit had in mind for me. I just felt myself a stranger on an alien planet. But I was fascinated with words.